a very clear understanding with the Pentagon. No guns. <laughs> I'll carry your books. I'll carry a torch. I'll carry a tune. I'll carry on, carry over, carry forward, carry Grant, cash and carry, carry me back to old Virginia. I'll even Harry carry if you show me how, but I will not carry a gun. All right. Alan Alda's relatable portrayal of Army Captain Hawkeye Pierce in the iconic CB series, CBS series MASH connected viewers to life on the front lines of war. The Emmy and Golden Globe winning actor has worked in all genres. He starred in dramatic movies like The Aviator, tackled the politically charged role as a senator on The West Wing, and taken comedic turns in Tower Heist. Alda also hosted PBS's Scientific American Frontiers for 13 years. He now teaches acting techniques to scientists and entrepreneurs to help them connect better with their audiences. And Al Alda hosts the podcast Clear and Vivid. He says the ability to engage with people clearly is the key to greater understanding for everyone. I agree with that. Alan Alda is with us this morning for an announcement that he wants to make. So good to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. How are Thank you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. You might be surprised to hear that. when I, I, I haven't said in public until now that I've been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And the reason that I want to talk about it in public is that it's, I was diagnosed three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've had a full life since then. I've right. acted, I've given talks, I help at the Alda Center for Communicating Science at Stony Brook. I started this new podcast. And I noticed that I've been on television a lot in the last couple of weeks talking about the new podcast. And I could see my thumb twitch in some mm. shots. And I thought, it's probably only a matter of time before somebody does a story about this right. from a right. sad turd point of view. But so that's not the, where I am. So this is the first time you're revealing publicly yeah. that you've been diagnosed with, yeah. with Parkinson's disease. What was that diagnosis like when you got it? Well, it... I, I asked for a, a scan because I thought I might have it. Mm. I read an article by Jane Brody in the New York Times mm -hmm. that indicated that if you have, uh, if you act out your dreams, mm. uh, there's a good chance you might, that might be a very early symptom that where nothing else shows. And act, by acting out your dreams, I mean, I was having a dream that someone was attacking me and I threw a sack of potatoes at them. But what I was really doing is throwing a pillow at my wife. Uh, <laughs> Ow. Wow. wow. Yeah. So what other, what, other, what other symptoms did you start to notice? I didn't have any symptoms. The Nothing. doctor said, why do you want to scan? You don't have any wow. symptoms. And I said, I want to know if there's anything I can do. I want to do it mm -hmm. before things start to show up. And so months later, a little twitch in my thumb, you know. Mm -hmm. And the, the thing I want folks to know, and this is not to shortchange people who are suffering with really severe symptoms. You know, symptoms can get very bad and their families can suffer. But in the very beginning, to be immobilized by fear and think the worst thing has happened to you, it hasn't happened to you. You still have things you can do. Yeah. I, I'm taking boxing lessons. <laughs> Three days a week, I read. Three times a week. Yeah. I do uh, singles tennis a couple of times a week. Yeah. I march to Sousa music. <laughs> <laughs> because marching to march music is good for, for Parkinson's. Oh. Did you have, but did you, I mean, you talk about the initial reaction to this. Did you have a, an initial fear? You know, I was mainly helping my family not mm -hmm. be worried. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's common for us all to go to the worst yes. thought. Of course, sure. But what's interesting is this is, diff this is a disease that's different for almost everybody who has it. Huh. Mm -hmm. There are some common symptoms, but mo mostly everybody's different, and each day is different from the next. One day you wake up, you think, oh, it's over, it's gone. The next day it's back a little worse. Right. You, you don't know what it's going to be, but the main thing is there's stuff you can do. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm, I've been, you know how I look at it? It's like a puzzle to be solved. Mm -hmm. What do I have to adapt to to carry on a normal life? You, and and, and, and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm enjoy, I enjoy solving puzzles. It's <laughs> yeah. really fun. Well, you have a remarkably optimistic, can-do attitude about a disease that a lot of people are scared about, but also angry when they have these yeah, diagnoses. That's, but that's true. your staff says you have displayed no signs of I'm anger. I'm glad to hear from my staff. <laughs> <laughs> say that. That's, no, that's encouraging. That's good. I don't know how you yeah, look from the outside. You know? <laughs> I mean, really. But I'm not angry. I'm, how I'm are you just, not angry? Because. 
it's a challenge, you know. You you got to cross the street. There are cars coming. How do you get across the street? You don't mm -hmm. just sit on the pavement and say, "Well, I guess I'll never cross the street again." You find a way to do it. Mm -hmm. People have all kinds of things. Some people don't like it that they're shorter than other people. Yeah, <laughs> you can't change that. <laughs> that no, they're, they're, they're gonna, so they, if they don't adapt to that, yeah, they're going to be unhappy. So I mean, I mean, there are there are people who have really severe symptoms that they have to face, mm -hmm. and that's difficult. It's not so difficult to to say, oh look, I got I got a little bit of a shake. So so you got to shake. It, what's interesting too is your Alan Alda Center essentially helps scientists communicate complex topics in simple terms. And and in, including doctors and nurses. Yeah. Yes, helping them communicate with patients. And how's so that be kind you? of I, well, it would be kind of ironic if I kept quiet about this. Right. When I uh, a center for communicating science is named <laughs> after me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but. I think, I th because I'm sort of well known, it might be helpful to people to hear the message that there are things you can do, you can learn about things, yeah. and not follow quackery, mm. but find out what real science is coming up with that, that helps. It helps to keep moving. Yeah. yeah. It helps the to move rhythmically. Yeah. What, what's, if there's been anything particularly challenging about this so far for you, what has it been? You know, I think. My saying something about it publicly today is going to make one thing a little easier. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to worry while I'm trying to say something else. I'm not going to be thinking, is my thumb on a life of its own? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, that's just one of the realities of my life. But I've acted in movies yeah. mm -hmm. since yeah. it's three and a half years since I had the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it hasn't stopped my life at all. I've, I've had a richer life than I've had up until now. Wow. Well, you, you so are not much. just surviving this, you are thriving. There are yeah. one million yeah. Americans that have Parkinson's disease. It yeah. is really Is it important. up to a million now? Yes. One million no Americans. So I've joined the fraternity. <laughs> so I hope everybody who still can do something gets busy doing things. I'm going to um, cover it on the podcast, on my new podcast, Tune Clear in. and Vivid because I want to spread the word. Thank you so much. For Thank thanks for having me. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you.